Yes, it's time again for On This Day in Smithsery. You're missing the point. It ain't just dollars. It's egos that rises the billionaire to the billionaire. The one thing they want to do more than anything is strut around the other billionaires and say, I beat you. Zeke can give him a title to go tell Robert Kraft, I beat you. To go tell all the other tell me, owners. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, That's the most important part. I'm not going to try to match your That's intensity why by Zeke. raising about out of my seat. But, but, I was saying, but I don't need to stand up in order to make my point. Sit down. Oh, don't That's try it, Now listen to this. Don't try to run all my glory. Uh, with excuse that story. Excuse me, excuse me. Come on. Excuse me. There's no such thing as an oxymoron to mention a cowboy in glory in the same sentence. I'm sorry. This has been another installment of On This Day in Smithsery. Now, back to you. First take. I just want to let that breathe for a minute because <laughs> that's exceptional. Former uh, Cowboys fan. Kendrick Perkins here with us now. I just want to say what? this. I can, if y'all don't mind, I'd like to interrupt by saying Yeah, this. do whatever you want. Max Kellerman, Molly, mm -hmm. and of course my man Kendrick Perkins. You know, <clears throat> I expect those Cowboys to not disappoint me. You understand the B that had that black cat running around this franchise? You know, I gave them the new nickname, Perkins. I gave them the name Christmas because they're the gift that keeps on giving when it comes to me. Every <laughs> chance, every time, they just, they, 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 in the last 25 years, they just haven't let me down. Happens right around Christmas, And you too. know how I like to troll them. I'm trying to tell y'all right now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off, but boy, do I got some plans for them this upcoming season. I mean, I got some stuff. I, I, I mean, I, it's going to involve law enforcement officials. Oh. It, it's going it, to... I'm going to try to get it to involve some cheerleaders. <laughs> I, I'm going to try. I, a matter of fact, I'm going to be making a few appearances to Texas. I'm going to show up to Texas, okay? So I'm so confident that the Cowboys will let me down, all right? That, that, that the Cowboys will let y'all down. They're going to make me happy. they let y'all down. I'm, I'm trying to tell you right now, I think I'm going to show up. And, and you remember that thing, you know, that spot that we hit in Texas where we did the show yeah, first right. from and stuff like that? I'm, I'm, I'm going to show up there on a Sunday to watch Cowboy games with those fans. I, I don't know which Sunday it's going to be, but I'm going to make Doesn't sure. Doesn't Michael Irvin have a place off the block you know, now? I'm going to show up to his place, too. Darren Woodson, our brother, our former colleague here at ESPN. I miss you, What's brother. Up, I love Darren? you to death, man. But I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a call him up because I, I, I'm not letting any of these Cowboy fans escape. I see everybody sticking out their chest, acting like this is going to be a good year. It's going to be a big-time year for the Cowboys. Y'all are all playing right in to my hands. I love it. Oh, I got some plans. He's not lying. I got He's some plans lying. for some Cowboy fans this year. Oh, you wait, Molly. You wait. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh. We need the travel restrictions back on Stephen yeah, listen, A. Listen, All right, Big hey, Perk, tell I'm me like, this, because Stephen A is going to like this. With the stars. Um, you were a Cowboys fan not long mm -hmm. ago, and then what happened? You are from Texas, right? Yeah, yeah, I am from Texas, Molly, and there's so Texas. much right now that hey. I'm trying to you know, absorb right now. Now from watching Michael Irvin two years ago on that clip, you know, Stephen A getting under his skin and he, and Michael Irvin, that's my guy, but he was sweating like somebody was chasing him, okay? That's the first thing. <laughs> the second thing is, the second thing is this, okay? Look, when I go to sleep at night, I sleep well, okay? AC on 60, a mm. box fan that I get from Walgreens mm. blowing in my face. Cold. And I oh, go straight nah, into right. hibernation mode mm. like a big grizzly yeah. bear. I mean, I go, I knock the hell out. Well, Molly, you know, I got tired of losing sleep. I got mm. tired of losing sleep behind the cow. Cowboys. I've been a Cowboys fan. The reason that I was a, a Cowboys fan from day one because of Jerry, jo because of Jimmy Johnson. You know where Jimmy Johnson is from, Molly? He's from the 409 area, the Golden Triangle. Pulled off the Beaumont, Texas. Pulled off this is where my wife is from. When I used to go pick up, I had to exit Jimmy Johnson Boulevard. Those were the glory days, okay? So it's no more glory days. When they got rid of Jimmy Johnson, the glory days went out the window. I got right. tired of losing sleep. I got tired of being harassed. So with that being said, I like to have my peace. So I decided to end my relationship with the Cowboys two years ago. One, because I got tired of listening to Stephen A. I got tired of listening to Max. And Molly also, look, and you know how, you know, me and you cool. 
but I got tired of you even chuckling and chiming in here and there. So look, I'm tired of the Cowboys, and I don't give a damn about them. I don't care what they do this year. I don't care if they make noise, Dak Prescott, throw for 500 yards. I don't give a damn. I'm not a Cowboys fan. He's a Cardinals fan Cardinals. now. Oh, no, when Stephen A's done with this segment, Arizona you might have to turn fans. that AC down to 58 if yeah, it goes that low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, hear what he's saying. He's saying they broke his heart. But, you know, really, it's, it's really, you know, it's about karma, too. Because if you had put Jimmy Johnson in the ring of honor, honor, you know, I mean, maybe this wouldn't be happening. How do they keep Jimmy Johnson maybe, out maybe of the ring of honor? Happening. Think about that. Unbelievable. Maybe this wouldn't be happening to you at all. You know, so, it's I mean, I do understand. It's a jinx. I do understand. Well, you know, all right. I got to cut it short. Sorry, guys. Got a heart out here. Perk, you'll be back with us. Madden's top 10 quarterback rankings were revealed, and only <laughs> one of these quarterbacks made the list. That's right. Baker, Stafford, Kyler, Tannehill, three snubs, only one.